Hi y'all, it's me. I have some hauls to share with you. I'm going to start off with Dollar General. So I showed her already because I got her a while back um, and I did get her at Dollar General. But when I went back, I found her boyfriend. Yay! <laughs> so now she is officially with a boyfriend, at least. I don't know about husband, but boyfriend. <laughs> so super cute. So I was really happy to get him. I also found this cute little bunny that I just couldn't leave for a buck. He was only a buck, so he was super cute. So we got that bunny. I found this chick. Uh, it's a metal, metal tin, whatever, chick. And she was $4, and I thought she was super cute. And then I picked up this white burlap. I don't know that I've ever seen white burlap, but white burlap. And then I found one more of these pom-pom trims for a buck and I, I love these so that was from Dollar General and then from Dollar Tree I picked up um I haven't been able to find the other colors the only colors I've found are these two of the chenille I really want the pink one but I don't know in time I guess it'll come to me who knows um I found this book uh at the Dollar Tree and not bad price for a buck you know because these are originally what I don't know how much they are. They're usually expensive. These kind of books, um, probably like twenty bucks here in the U.S. But it has such a lot of cute felt projects that I thought, you know, I know you can see this stuff online, but um, it's nice to have a book to thumb through sometimes when you're laying in bed and you don't want to be on the internet. So anyhow, super cute book. I found. Um, let's see. Sorry. I picked up two of these. These are um, headbands, and I thought these would be really cute as Traveler's Notebook uh, bands. So I picked up two of those. I found these cute little pens. I always buy their novelty pens, at least one or two of them, and these have um, the timer on the top, which I thought was super cute. And then I was able to find some more of these. I bought some of these at Valentine's, but... They still had some, so I picked up some more while I was there. And then I got a bunch of bunnies. Oh my God, these bunnies, y'all are so cute. I'm sure you probably have seen them on Instagram, whatever. They're super hard to find now at Dollar Trees. I think everybody bought them out because they're just so darn cute. And you can dress them up as I've seen people on Instagram doing, but... How cute are they for a dollar? And they're weighted with something at the bottom so that they can stand. They're so cute. Yay. So anyway, got me several of those. And let me continue. Whoops, I lost the chicky. Uh, let's see. I went to the 99 only. And I found these sprays, which I thought were kind of unique and pretty. Um, it's actually made out of that foam, foamy stuff. So I thought these would be cute to use in projects. So I picked up both colors that I love, as I did with the these, which are the little buckets that they had for a dollar in their gardening section. And of course, they're good for storage in our craft rooms. And then I bought these, which I buy every Easter when they have this out. It's this certain pink that I love with this stuff. Um, you can get it at Dollar Tree, but it's also that really dark pink. This is like the more vintage pink, so I buy it every time I see it at Dollar or 99 only. Then I have some goodies from Hobby Lobby. Uh, well, some of this was inspired by someone, but I'll tell you when I get there. They had this on clearance, and y'all know I love swans, and for $2.49, I was not passing it. I have one similar, but what the heck, one more won't hurt. Um, I picked up these mini sacks for something I need to try, uh, and I also found these sacks, which I thought were cute, really cute colors, so I picked those up. Uh, I picked up some of this... Um, some more of this. I have one, but I wanted to get one more just in case they do away with it. You never know. Uh, I got some pipe cleaners, some white ones. Uh, I picked these up from the Easter section, the foamy bunnies. And then their, all their paper studio is half 
off, so I got this small pack of glittered cardstock. I just wanted to have something with a variety of other colors in it than what I normally would pick up. Uh, they had these on clearance for $2.74, and again, I didn't buy them for whatever's in here. I bought them for these because these alone are at least $6, so it's a good a good deal to get them when they're in these books. And anyway, you can use the book inside too. It just looks like it's plain paper. So anyhow, I picked up two of those for the rings. And then they had some dies that I decided to get. And it was this one here, which are little box bags or something with these little characters. <clears throat> this one was $7.49 on clearance. Regular $30. Bucks, so oh, I thought it was a good deal. Um... I picked up one of these for a friend because I've already gotten one of these before for $4. They're Christmas tags. And then I picked up these. These were half off. And these are Easter stickers or spring or whatever. I guess spring more than Easter. Uh, I picked up... Now, I got two things in here because Jen had to show them on her channel. Hi, Jen. You, you and I are bad for each other. Anyway, she showed this, and I think it's so cute, this crafty set. I have a um, paper pad of craft stuff that I want to work on, and when I do something of my craft room, I want to have a you know a book of my craft room, so I'm going to use these in there as well. And they were half price, and then I could not resist this one. Oh, M-E-G. If they had more, I would have bought another one. They just didn't have any more. They had just the one, but... I am having a thing about bees right now, and I just love them. So I did pick up these bees as well because they were also half off. Super adorable. You get 16. And then I picked up these bees because they're little puffy bees, and they're so cute. So I got those. I picked up these from the Easter section, just little puffy stickers, and then these are clear stickers in the back. And uh, Easter's 40% off. I picked up these, 40% off. I think there's just one sheet. Oh, no, there's two sheets, it says. And then I think Jen showed these, or I don't know if she did, but I found these, and OMG, I love them. These are like little epoxy bows, like puffy bows, and they are so cute. I bought two. They had other shapes, but I, don't, I wasn't, you know, they had balloons and flowers and butterflies and something else but I just really fell in love with the bows so I got two of those and they were $2.99 half off and so two for $2.99 and then I picked up a bunch of felt because the felt is all two for um a dollar or let's just rephrase that it's half off <laughs> so they're normally these are 33 cents and you get them for Half of that so or two for one so I picked up all these different um, colors that I wanted to add to what I already have so that's that and then I went to uh, scrapbook.com I've been waiting for them to get something back in stock and they finally did and it's a magic mat for those of you who don't know this replaces your cutting mat so basically what you would do is you put this down on your big shot you put your die on there, and then you put your top plate, and you don't have to use a second one of these. Because these, man, we go through these a lot, especially if you die cut a lot. And apparently these are supposed to withstand the blades cutting into them. So they do come in different sizes. They have them back in stock. They went out of stock super fast the first go round. So um, if you're interested, have a look and check your size to see if what you need is there. Because... I have a feeling it's going to be worth it for the purchase. So got that at scrapbook.com. And then I picked up a few other items that I've had in my cart. I just decided to go ahead and get them. So I picked up the Bunnies in Bloom. I only got the um, 6x8 paper pad. I really didn't need a whole 12x12 12 12 of it. But it's so pretty, y'all. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I picked up the puffy stickers that go with that collection because I really love puffy stickers, so I got two of them. Super cute. I picked up the stamp set that goes with it just because I love that bunny. <laughs> so cute. So um, very cute. So I got that. 
I picked up the ephemera bits that go with it. Um, that's what's in there. Cute. And then last but not least, I picked up this. And actually, there's something else I forgot to show you, but I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, this is a mold from Frank Garcia. This one has the buttons, which are beautiful, the bow, which I love, and the little angel cherub. Um, and they look to be really nice size. I really am interested to see how the buttons and the bow turn out. So I'm going to play with that in a while. And I forgot to show this from Hobby Lobby, but um, this is also uh, in the bee, <laughs> the bee theme. Uh, since all their stuff was half off the paper studio, I picked up this uh, paper with this background so super cute so there you go that's my haul thank you so much for watching have fun shopping and until next time do what makes you happy bye for now